So the numbers just released for IMSA's August compliance report just really show how bad these wait times are. At today's meeting with IMSA, they addressed so many of these ongoing problems. Days ago, we brought you Jean Rogers' story. She had a big bruise already coming on the outside, and all I could think of is, is she got internal bleeding. Her mother waiting over 40 minutes for an ambulance after she fell, gashing her head open. Rogers having to drive her mother to the hospital herself. I'd really like to know what the problem is with IMSA. Tonight, we're getting a first-hand look at IMSA's compliance summary for August. See here, Priority 1 calls for an ambulance in Oklahoma City and Edmond, which are for the most critical patients. Per compliance, each response time standard needs to be at 90% or higher. In August, District 1 in OKC, 63%, District 2, 51, and in Edmond, 39%. In a regularly scheduled IMSA Board of Trustees meeting, a big topic of conversation is trying to find solutions to those wait times. Certainly not an excuse. We have to do the right thing for our people. IMSA President and CEO Jim Winham. Staffing problems and response time problems. Not an excuse. Understand the buck stops right here. Says their first priority is hiring more staff. It's an all hands on deck and as we go forward. Wenham says in addition to shortages, they're dealing with more calls and delays and getting them off the ambulance. And changes to the IMSA leadership team confirmed by KOCO. The IMSA chief of operations set to retire and the chief of compliance and revenue officer leaving the authority. Today's meeting, an interim chief compliance officer was selected. So today we learned a little bit more about possible solutions to a lot of these problems that IMSA is facing at this time. So we learned at today's meeting, district chiefs will be running calls in Oklahoma City. Also, IMSA offering an EMT school, which means that uh, they're going to be offering a learn while you earn program, paying students while they're out on the job. In addition to recruiting from Arizona, Texas and California, trying to bring more people into Oklahoma to help fill this need, as well as a $25,000 sign on bonus if you become an EMT, as well as that relocation fee. We're live in Oklahoma City this evening. Christine Stanwood, KOCO 5 News.